Look at this carrot because we are in the most dangerous kneeboard in Kyiv. We met a lot of people here in Kyiv and all of them told us do not under any circumstance go to Croatia. And that's where we came here today to show you how the most dangerous neighborhood in Ukraine looks like. Are you scared? Ah, uh, not really. Come on, we are from Brazil. <laughs> Look at these buildings. Look, blue building. Very old. Look at this one. It looks like a holiday in Recife. Hey, do you think they have lift in this building? Do you think? I don't think so. Hey, maybe we can try to invade one of those buildings. What do you sure. think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Leave the comments. One of the things you cannot say bad about Soviet Union is they really invest in physical education. Look at this. Subscribe to the channel. Just one, come on, one more, 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 last one, last one, you can do it. No, come on, come on, for the people, come on, one more, one more, one more. Tutryishna is located in the outskirts of Kiev. It used to be a village, but in the recent years it was connected with the city. And here live more than 250,000 people. It was a bedroom uh, district designed in the Soviet times to allocate a lot of people. Another thing the people complain a lot, it's about the subway. Here, they don't have subway. And it makes them more uh, far away from the city, uh, from the culture, from the people. It's like isolated. So it's sad. More than 20 years, they're promised, promised and no subway. If you don't have a car here, it's hard to go to Kyiv because the public transport is really bad. And even though they have no subway here, obviously they have Aroma Cava because Aroma Cava is everywhere. 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 By the way, you want to have a coffee? Yeah, why not? Are you crossing the street without the lines? Yeah, this I learned in Brazil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even the Pune boats in Europe, in Ukraine. To be honest, I don't, I don't feel, I feel safe here. I don't feel any danger here. Do you feel, man? Yeah, <laughs> let's explore more. Here yeah, is like a food court. I don't know where is that, but it's a lot of things like shoppings, uh, shawarma, burger. Interesting. Look at, you know, one exit, two exit, three exit, four exit. So it's like very. Very good location, right? Yeah, interesting to see how the Soviets planned the cities to be easy for walking. I like this. Just one question, do you think here is dangerous? I think no. Why yeah. do people say it's dangerous? I don't know. I don't feel like uh, in some trouble here. Never in your life? Uh, I live in here like 10 years. Ah. Yeah, and that's fine, I think. Okay. okay. right? Yes, like this district, okay. not that whole key. Just found a mini festival. festival in the most dangerous neighborhood of Ukraine. Too much propaganda. Look at how dangerous this is. Huh? Argent are you from Argentina? Argentina? Argentina, Argentina. Just play some football here in the most dangerous neighborhood. Hey, Kiev, yeah. Apparently, Kievians are wrong. So, kids learning how to fight in the most dangerous hood of Ukraine. Certainly, it's important here. Oh? 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 Hey, come on, <laughs> Now we are trying to find a place to eat here in the most dangerous neighborhood in the Kiev. One of the good things about the Soviet Union, I must say, is that they invested a lot in culture. We are here in the most dangerous neighborhood, one of the poorest neighborhoods in the outskirts of the city. And you see an open cinema here. I wish all the dangerous neighborhoods in the world be like this. Huh, Lucas? I wish. I wish. 
a lot of flowers, people walking, so nice. Even the most dangerous hood in Kiev park for children. Look, and a really nice park, rope, look how nice. We heard this is the most dangerous neighborhood in El Kiev. But you're walking here for two hours and nothing happened. So, what do you think? Is dangerous or is not dangerous? Uh, dangerous uh, neighborhood? Uh huh. It's, this is not dangerous. It's not like a Brazil in. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Why do people like people from central Kiev? They told us this is dangerous. No. Why did they know. say this? This is a dangerous uh, region. Uh huh. Creation. Ah. Yeah. I live here for 15 years, like, and uh, I for this 15 years I have never heard that someone was, you know, killed. Killed. Uh. But maybe the people from Kiev they don't come here because here they don't have metro. They ask, they, they tell you, oh, we're gonna make the metro, the subway, 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 and no subway. Yeah, they are waiting for metro, you know, like uh, for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> but what is the the bad place here? We want to see. Where is the bad boys? Yeah, 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 hey, bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. Like we are here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I also like it today. <laughs> this is a memorial uh, in tribute of the people who helped to clean Chernobyl. This is the only one in the whole country, in Ukraine. So here in the middle is the sculpture of Holy Virgin, the patroness of Ukrainian people. And this memorial is mainly made because here in Troyeshna, many people from the Pripyat city that were evacuated, they came to live here. Imagine the people who lived in Pripyat city, the most beautiful city in Ukraine, the most technological, and then moved to here, to like a insulated place from, I think they were sad. Do you live here in Troyeshna? Yes. yes. So do you think here is dangerous? Uh, no. no. I think it's a really good district, but we doesn't have metro, so... Ah, <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about this. 20 years, they have said metro, metro, no metro. How can you go to Kiev? How you go? Uh, we have a lot of kinds of public transport, so... Yes, it's not a very... It's not a big, big problem. problem yeah. uh -huh. ah. One thing, because uh, the people we met in central Kiev, they told us here interaction is dangerous. Why do they? Why are they saying this? Uh, it's something like stereotype. Ah. Uh, I think everyone in Ukraine thinks that Troyeshna is very dangerous. <laughs> I didn't know about Troyeshna. Before I came <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> so the last question, what do you want to say to the people who say he is dangerous? Mm, it isn't dangerous, so don't come here. The they, are welcome. Don't the they are welcome to come here to visit, right? Yes, yes. you're welcome. Yes. Okay, Dan Piat, thank you, Paka. Baba, Jakuyu, Slava Ukraina. I'm very hungry, so last mission, we're gonna grab some food here in Trishna. Now here you can see a lot of places to eat. So even Vietnamese food, McDonald's, 24 hours nightclub, supermarket, more. What is another shawarma? Rice box. You see, this is the most dangerous neighborhood in Kiev. <laughs> Lucas wanna eat Vietnamese food. But I think they don't. Know. Uh, no. Look at the price. Chipisinsk. Chipisinsk. Yeah, in a Vietnamese cuisine, we finish this video and listen. Stereotype. Don't believe in stereotypes. Like this video and see you in the next one. Valeu.